Hey, what's going on to my lovers and my lovers in need? How are you today? I pray that you all are blessed or doing well. I want to just touch on a topic with you guys because I am going down my timeline and I'm seeing everyone taking sides for their race. And it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing to self-love. But at the end of the day, when you give that self-love to yourself, you have to vibrate that self-love out to the world. Love is not just about loving who you choose to love. Love is about loving Mother Earth's children as they are. We cannot change people. We cannot make them wake up. We cannot force change on them. We cannot force them to grow. We cannot beat them in the head and say, hey, get this shit. Come on. It has to come and flow naturally. You have to give people time to grow. You have to give people time to get into their love space. What's going on around this world right now is going to help people get in tune and get in touch with their love space. I don't watch the news. I might hear a little bit here and there what's going on around the world. I don't give a shit about anything negative. If it's not love, I don't want to hear about it. And I will cast it out because it has no authority over me. And as long as you continue to vibrate with this frequency, it's going to control you. It's going to control your thoughts. It's going to control your mind. It's going to control how you feel. It's going to control everything. Then you're going to just want to be a blabbermouth. Blah, 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 and saying nothing. The best thing to do in this hate-filled situation is give it prayer and love and trust that the divine knows what she's doing. Everything that's going on is for a purpose. All of this so-called death that you see going around, it is not final. It is not final for those souls who have lost their lives, their physical lives. It's not final for them. But it takes spiritual knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to know all of these things and to embrace it and accept it as truth. In order to embrace truth, you have to first embrace the truth within yourself. So stop trying to jump on the bandwagon. Be a leader. Be a thinker. Think for yourself. Think from your heart. Think what would the Most High do. When you think what the Most High would do, Ask yourself that um, what I am what I'm doing right now is that in alignment with the Most High. Ask yourself those questions. I do it all the time. You know what I mean? Because we all have light and we all have dark. And I tell you, I battled the dark night of my soul. It took me a long time. I fought. I battled. I screamed. I cried. I scratched my eyes out. I did it all to get to this love space that I'm in today. I am in an awesome love space today because this is the space I created for me. I created my love space. I give the divine all my worries and my tr troubles. And I trust in the divine that everything is flowing as it should be. And that is what life is all about. Life is about flowing. Life is about giving love, understanding, knowledge, your truth. Those who truly love you will respect your truth. They may not have to like it, but they will always love you. They will never switch up and change on you. That's real love. That's real love. Love won't hurt you. Love won't break you. Love won't mo love definitely most definitely won't make you change the authentic person that you are. So, turn this TV off. Turn the TV off. My TV stays off, you see? It stays on the black screen. I ain't got time. If I'm not watching anything funny or happy, and I love Game of Thrones because I love the meaning behind it, if we do not band together and coexist in love, we will all die. Okay? We will all be destroyed. Not just you. Not just me. Not just white. Not just black. Not just all the colors that you freaking see in this world. What you guys don't understand is that the divine is like Baskin and Robbins. She has many different flavor of souls that she's created. And she created us all in love. But unfortunately, so many of y'all are programmed into your own, into hate that was built into your space before you were even thought of. So give love. Reprogram, realign yourself. 
Learn how to rethink. Learn how to love yourself. Because the moment you learn to coexist with your light and your dark side, you'll be able to have understanding to coexist and understand everyone else's. What's going on now is supposed to happen. Everything that goes on in life is supposed to happen. Nothing is coincidental and nothing is for no reason. There's always a reason and a method behind the divine most highest madness and love. So may you all just be blessed with love and joy. I pray that this touched someone's heart today. And I pray that you all awaken within yourselves, within your own truths and start speaking them. Because each one of us are different and we all have an awesome gift to share with the world if we choose it. I chose abundance. I chose love. And that is what I'll be consistently choosing from this day forward. <laughs> Hence, Shug's love space. So may you all be blessed and have an awesome day. Mwah. Shug love you, baby. Peace. <laughs>